This is the devotional reading for day 40. From 40 Days, Prayers and Devotions to Revive Your Experience with God by Dennis Smith. The title for today's reading is A People of God's Word. Those who make it through the time of trouble and are ready to meet Jesus will definitely be a people grounded in the Word of God. The Bible will have played a major role in enlightening them concerning God's will and strengthening them for the conflict. They will have learned the truth that, quote, men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God, end quote. Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. God's people will not become fearful of what Satan might do to them. As we studied earlier, fear is the opposite of faith and gives Satan a rite of passage into our life and in the very area we fear. Instead of fear, we must put our complete trust in God's word. Remember, quote, faith is not believing God can. Faith is knowing God will, end quote. God's last day people will have the confidence expressed by John. Quote, now this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we have asked of him. End quote. 1 John chapter 5, verse 14 and 15. In order for us to have this kind of faith, we must become familiar with God's word. It must become our meditation day and night, Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. Then our ways will be prosperous and victorious. We will be like, quote, a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth fruit in its season, end quote. Psalms chapter 1, verse 2 and 3. God's word is to play a major role in our victories over temptation and sin. It does more than simply inform us concerning what sin is. Quote, I would not have known sin except through the law, for I would not have known covetousness unless the law had said, you shall not covet. End quote. Romans chapter 7 verse 7. It is by faith in the promise of the Bible that we obtain victory. Paul calls the word of God the, quote, sword of the spirit, end quote. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 17. The Greek word translated word in this verse is rhema, which means spoken word. Therefore, the word of God spoken in faith will bring the changes in our life that are necessary for us to become like Jesus in character and ministry. Jesus spoke of this when he said, quote, For assuredly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt it in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. End quote. Mark chapter 11, verse 23. Notice that Jesus strongly emphasized the importance of saying what we will believe will happen. When we speak what will happen of God as revealed in his word and believe what we say, it will come to pass in our life. Speaking the word of God in faith is a very powerful weapon. Ellen White wrote of the power of God's word, quote, the creative energy that called the world into existence is in the word of God. This word imparts power. It begets life. Every command is a promise accepted by the will. Received into the soul, it brings with it the life of the infinite one. It transforms the nature of it transforms the nature and recreates the soul in the image of God. Quote, the life thus imparted is in like manner sustained by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. End quote. Matthew chapter four, verse four. Education, page six, one twenty six. There is no shortage of power to transform us into the image of Christ. 
Faith in God's promises brings the Holy Spirit's power into our life. When we learn how to exercise the weapons of our warfare, we will then be able to pull down every stronghold Satan has in our life, whether spiritual, emotional, or physical. I quote, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. End quote. Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse four and five. Remember, remember. Just before Jesus comes, Satan's deceptions will be very effective in leading multitudes away from God and causing them to be lost when Jesus comes. The deceptions will be so powerful that if it were possible, the very elect will be deceived. Matthew chapter 24 verse 24. Understanding and accepting the word of God is essential in order to avoid the deceptions of the last days. Personal Reflection and Discussion 1. Why is the word of God, the Bible, so important for the Christian? What did Paul call the word of God? How did Ellen White describe God's word? How does God's word help us to avoid Satan's last day perceptions? What part does God's word play in your life? Prayer activity. Call your prayer partner and discuss this devotional with him or her. Pray with your prayer partner. One, for God to baptize you with his Holy Spirit. Two, for God to revive you and his church. Three, for God to put in your heart the desire to study his word more. Four, for the individuals on your prayer list. Dear God, thank you for the ability to do your will. Teach us, O oh Lord, that faith is not just belief, but a confident knowing of your will. Help us to trust that you hold our future even when we can't see a way forward. Guide us as we continue to read your word. Open our hearts and our minds to receive it with wisdom and clarity. Continue to show us the path that strengthens our spirit and grants us the desire to just immerse ourselves in your word daily. Strengthen our faith so that it may become unshakable and unmovable Help our faith to be rooted in your promise, knowing that you are always going to be with us. Grant us peace to walk by your faith, assured that your plans for us are good. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.